Here are some tips by Tim Topham to help keep students motivated. I think the most important thing is the repertoire that you choose. And I know as a student that if I was playing something that I wanted to play, it comes back to what we were saying before, if you allow a student to play something that they want to play, you've hooked them in some ways into at least sitting down at the piano and playing at least that piece, even if they're not necessarily doing what you want them to do, but at least they're playing, right? And that's better, or practicing, hopefully. And that's better than nothing. Um, but I think teachers can also be a little bit uh, flexible in what they get their students to do. So I will very rarely only give a student instructions to practice written pieces. More often than not, they'll spend some time maybe playing some pop songs with chords, doing some music writing, uh, sorry, uh, reading, so written music reading. And quite often, particularly for teenage beginners, Piano Maestro, the app, is brilliant to give them some motivation while they're learning how to read music and make it fun. So for people that don't know about that, it's basically an app that allows students to play music as it comes up on the screen with cool backing tracks and they love it because it's like a video game but still very musically sound and pedagogically sound so it's a great app. Um, so I would say in, in answer to your question about encouraging practice, try and give students more than just one activity to do. Try and use their ears or um, even oral activities, uh, there's something that's not just reading and you're more likely to get a positive result. Thank <music> you.